So we're running a workshop here today uh, introducing the Raspberry Pi and the software that runs on it called Node-RED, uh, which makes it really easy for people to get going with the Internet of Things. So people might think it's you know, really complicated and you need a degree in electronics and degree in, you have to be an expert computer software engineer in order to do so. But um, the Raspberry Pi makes it very easy to control physical devices using the GPIO pins. And the Node-RED software, which is a piece of open source software, nodered.org, uh, which enables you to drag and drop icons to get data from somewhere, do something with it, then send the data somewhere else. Um, there's a whole mountain of kit that RS brought along, which is you know, people are playing with bits and pieces. Uh, the, the British Computer Society, the BCS, are behind this, so obviously they see the benefit of um, software people learning about IoT skills, of course, it's very important. And OSHUG, the open source hardware user group, um, are very much into this as well, which is why we're getting physical things rather than just software entities, because making an LED flash in the real world is such an exciting thing. Today's about grassroots activity, bringing people together to learn about new things. And there are two aspects. One is the learning new technologies, but it's also that connections that are made today that go on and help new businesses and existing businesses transform to pick up on the new tools and technologies that are around. One of the things that, that has always concerned me in, in producing um, applications for the Raspberry Pi is, is the fact that you end up writing code all the time. And when you're trying to do it, because I'm part of STEM network, Esto Ambassador, and when you're trying to do that with youngsters to start with who've, who've got no code experience or anything, the last thing you want to be doing is writing code. The great thing about Node-RED is, is it's something that anyone can pretty much learn. You don't need to be a coder or a programmer. You can pick this up, you can quickly develop or rapid prototype applications and get them working very, very quickly. One of the really cool things about it is that it is open source, so anybody can download that. They don't have to pay for a license or ask permission. They can just download it, um, load it onto a Raspberry Pi, a BeagleBone, uh, even just their laptop computer running Linux, and then they can immediately start prototyping. So having made this little ISS light, it really turned me on to computing and electronics, things that I never thought I'd enjoy doing or things that I thought were actually black magic. Really interesting, we've seen kids in this morning learning, we said adults in this afternoon learning as well, not only learning, taking forward and actually making something on the basis of their knowledge and having done that they're sharing and sharing as community. Lovely to have kids from as young as 12 in uh, all the way through to some of the older ladies and gents. Really great to have support from KTN, BCS, um, OSUG and also RS Components that were able to bring together both the hardware and software build stuff, make stuff and allow people to go away in a better position to produce hardware, which is a great exciting area at the moment. 